you a writer? Because I've got a job for a writer. Rhyme, meter, conceit. Without this balance, a poem becomes slack. Then how do you explain Whitman? Well, he hated rhyme and meter. What's your name? Allen Ginsberg. Allen in Wonderland. Alan. Most people know Daniel Radcliffe as the young actor who grew up as Harry Potter. Um, and, and of course, he's done some stage work. What was he like to work with? I mean, playing a, the character of Ginsberg, but also having some sex scenes, you know? Was that kind of challenging for him? Did he... Uh, Not at all. No? Not at all, no. I think I'm just really proud of the way that scene turned out because, you know, here's why I go into gay cinema. I will say the one thing wrong with a straight man directing a film about gay characters, a.k.a. Brokeback Mountain, that sex scene... I've never had it quite happen the way that it physically happened yeah. in that scene. And if anything, what we wanted to get right for cinematic history, and I want you to tell me on camera right now if we did it. I think you did. I think was you did. to depict it as honestly and emotionally and physically yeah. honestly as possible. Did we get it? I think you got it. And I also love like the fact that people really look like that era. You know, often you see Hollywood actors who are buff, but you know what I mean? Like Daniel looked like somebody from the '40s. You know, with his hair on his chest, and he looked like a real person. And, you know, it was too often we manicure the past. Oh, well, I, that was deliberate. I told Dan, you know what? Nobody manscaped in the 1940s. No groomers, no personal body trimmers. Let it be what it is. You're playing Allen Ginsberg here. Yeah. Um, and also just, you know, with the body types, I told all of them, do not overwork out too mm -hmm. much. And they actually went and they looked up, you know, photos of bodybuilders and just male actors and models at that time to get the body shapes accurate as well as the hair and the costume and all the period details so that's interesting you noticed that thank you